Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Connery from Out of Work. Today we're gonna go over the stupid but most important modification you need to do to your kayak. Uh, it is simply a uh, light. <laughs> With all this cool fish finder technology, power poles and everything, you gotta have a light. It's a requirement from the Coast Guard. If you're gonna be on the water, you're gonna be, you know, in dark areas or maybe even super cloudy days, you might even want to put one on. But today we've got this one picked. It's uh, I shoot the I shoot you guys the links of where you can get them, either on eBay or on Amazon. But I picked this one just because it comes with a really nice base. It comes with a really nice base that has a cap on it. Just like that. I mean, it's still kind of new, so it's gonna be hard to break in, you know. But cap, nice cap, little chrome finish. I think it comes in like black too, I'm not sure. Or you can just paint it black. But it's cool because I like it because it's LED. Okay, LEDs is real, real bright at night compared to the traditional light bulbs. And that's the main goal for this guy is to make sure everybody can see you. It doesn't pull as much power as the other ones too, I believe. And on top of that, you can extend it. I mean, you get it. I mean, you can extend it as far as you want. That's kind of that's kind of overkill, but I do it. You know, if I was running across the lake and it's like six o'clock in the morning, it's actually a pretty good idea to run it higher than you actually need it, cause cause that way the light it's in the air, everybody can see you. It's a lot better. Uh, I need to do this mod to my pro angle too, but this is the uh, outback build that we're doing right now, and this is just the light that I've chosen for it. And it's a 360 light, it's a dome light too. So as you can see, it's it's pretty bright from all angles. I really like this light, man. I think it was fairly priced too for what it comes with, you know. There you go. Comes out. And oh, and these little things, someone's gonna ask me about this, right? This is uh these are the retention tabs that I've used for my uh, outbacker. Okay. Yeah, that's tight. That's how you want it to. So just like that, it's almost like an OEM fit. You know, it just sits there. Now you don't want you don't have to store it in a in a hatch or nothing like that. And it's perfect because that's the other thing about this kayak too. This is the uh, smaller kayaks. On these smaller kayaks, you don't have a lot of storage options. Um, I mean, there's a hatch you put in here, but then there's nothing down there to, to keep it up here so the light might actually be sliding back and forth from inside the kayak. Not a good idea. Um, you could bring it with you, but you know, you'll probably forget it. So it's always best if it's always on the kayak, you know. So a lot of people, they I've seen them store it down here, but that'll tend to roll around too. And then I thought, man, I, I just installed a power pole, and then I didn't need these little power pole little rubber grommet brackets I'm sure you can buy them somewhere you know and then I put them in it holds the light perfect it's just perfect look at it love it I love how it integrates like that it's awesome so your lights ready to go whenever you're ready to go so like early mornings I can't forget keep on forgetting what the Coast Guard uh, recommends but I think it was 30 minutes before uh, sunrise 30 minutes before sunset or something like that your pole has to be up you get a pretty hefty ticket too on a kayak, we don't have to run the red and the green lights. We just have to have run the 360. I believe it was 14 foot or less. You only have to run the white light. But don't quote me on that. You gotta go check that out for yourself. But regardless, that's uh, that's what I like. That's what I picked. I'm pretty, pretty impressed with it so far. And like I said, it's LED, so it's not gonna the bulb's not gonna burn at you. And you know, we transport our kayaks a lot, and we drop them off a lot, and things like that. With a basic bulb, uh, the filament might just break on you. That's what a light bulb does. With LED, you're good. We're good with LEDs. We're, you're just going to be good with LEDs. So that's what I recommend. LED 360 light. And I recommend that one. Uh, links in the bottom uh, the, of the video description. So it'll go to eBay or Amazon, one of the two. And uh, yeah. Check you guys out on the next one. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit... I don't know, 50,000 subs this year. So that's our goal. So help us out. Help us out. All right, guys? 
So you guys, see y'all on the next one.